Okay, well, you don't need to see my mug up in the corner. You know what that looks like. So anyway, I've been asked about how do we compute weighted grades, okay? So here's how you compute your weighted grades. So because I always get that question, what do I need to get on the final to get this? Or what do I need, to, you know, and I never know how to answer that because it's like, well, you've got to take the final, so you're going to be here anyway, so study for it, and let's just see what happens, okay? Um, but anyway, so here's our test so far, and you get to drop one of these, all right? So let's say the first example, because this is where we have to actually do some computing, all right? And so let's say the first exam, you've got a 35 out of 65. Next exam, a little better, you got a 40. Third exam, um, you, you did pretty well, 48, and then this exam, you did okay, too. You did, did an 80%. All right, well, pretty much we can see that this is the lowest one, so we'll drop that one, all right? And so we'll find out what the percents are of each of those, and of course, I don't have my calculator ready. I thought I had everything laid out, but I don't. Um, let me grab my calculator. So you find the percents of each one of these, okay? Find the percents of each one of those, and you come up with 40, what about 55, 0.72, 0.73%, 48 divided by 56, 0.85%, it's actually 0.86, and then 80 will be 80%. And let's just make them 73, 85, 80. Now, add those up. Add, add, add all three of those up. And you get 73 plus 85. Let's add them. That's 238. Divide by 3. And you got a 79% on your homework score. Not bad. That's in the that's in the close to the B plus range. That's in the B range. And also double check the syllabus so you see what the what the uh, scores are. All right. Let's see if I can get a better perspective on this. All right, there we go. And so you got a 79, but it's worth 40%. So for your exams, so far your exams grade is. 79 times 0.4 because it's worth 40% of your grade. So your exam grade is 79 times 0.4 is equal to 31.6. Okay. Now let's go down each one of these. So your homework, you look at the last, that last um, entry and your homework on that says your average grade. And let's say your homework is 91% or 91.4. All right, so this is 91.4, and so we'll take that 91.4, and it's times 15%, 0.15. Let's take 91.4 times 0.15. We got 13.7. So homework, 13.7% of your grade so far. Um, participation, let's just go with 99 on that. So you take 99 times 0.05. That's 4.95%. Uh, so participation, daily quiz, or ICP is what we called it, 4.95%. Uh, okay. Lastly, lab, or well, almost done or to the lab. All right, so take your lab grade, let's say 97%. Most of you, if you've been playing well with others, are going to score between a 95 and a 98. Okay. And if you bend all your laps, so it's 97 times 0.2, because it's 20% of your grade. 97 times 0.2 is equal to 19.4. So let's add all that up. So far, we've got 31.6 plus 13.7 plus 4.95 plus 19.4. We've got 
69.65% of your grade done so far. Well, that's a high C plus or a B minus almost right there. So you don't even have to show up for the final if you don't want to. If you're happy with a C plus or a B minus. But you've done all this work, so you show up for the final. So you take the final and you get an 85%, which would be pretty good. That'd be real good in the final because the final average is about 78%. All right. So you might be going, well, what do I need to get on the final to get um, an A if this is my... Because remember, the grading scale is 85 to 92-ish, 92, 93, I can't remember, is an A minus, 93 to 100 is an A, okay? All right, so, maybe we go, well, I need to get, let's just say we got, if we got 100%, if I got 100% on the final, so if I had a 69.65 coming in, and I got 100% on the final, that means I'd get all 20 points, 20%. I'd get an 89, which would be an A-. minus. Okay? Uh, well, what if, I just, what if I just need half? So if I just get half, then that'd be a 79. That would give me close to a B plus if I got a 50% on the final. You see how that works? Let's say let's say you got an eighty five on the final. So you got an eighty five percent, which is pretty, which is like an A minus, but that doesn't mean you get an A in a class. Okay, point eight five, or eighty five. Take eighty five times point two, and that'd be seventeen. So, so this would equal seventeen. Put seventeen here. Wow, look at that. That gives you an 86.65. That's, that's an A minus in the class. All right, that's how you do weighted grades. Okay, out of here.